Golf's return to the Olympic Games for the first time since 1904 is very nearly upon us. The journey to this point has been a rough ride, but for those players who will be in Rio, this is an incredible opportunity to do something new and exciting. I see it as an incredible opportunity to do something different, something cool, something that will always stand alone. I mean, um, I said the other day that if my career one day read Justin Rose, multiple major champion, because I'm still gunning for a few more of those, but yeah, multiple major champion and an Olympic gold medalist, I mean, I think that's how it will read. It's got that sort of and, you know, it's something, it's, it's in its own little bracket, it's a niche, niche achievement, and um, obviously something I'm very excited about. I hope that everybody will go there with a very open mind and see it positive. It doesn't need to be fifth major for me because it already is. I think if, if other sports are there, golf should, shouldn't, shouldn't be missing. To compete for a medal in the Olympic is, gosh, it doesn't really get any bigger. Um, you compete with the biggest values in this game of sports and um, you're at the highest level and like I said, it's a dream come true. The green jackets are very nice, but having a gold medal would be uh, something that we've all watched. Uh, we've never been able to compete in. So being able to compete in and win would, would be, uh, I'd say definitely equal as the two. I can't say it's better, but I can say it's definitely equal. It's, it's a pretty individual sport, you know, there aren't that many team championships, team events, and you know, there I think it's more than about you, you know, it's about you know, the country that's supporting you and you know, you're there with other athletes, so there's just a lot more to it. I mean, a medal is a medal, you know, if you end up getting a medal, that's, that's great, but you know, I think there are so many things that you can enjoy and you know, to, I guess, embrace about the Olympics more than just about getting the medals. Rio is ready, but fears over the Zika virus and players' concerns over fitting the Olympics into an already busy schedule have overshadowed golf's return. Only four of the top ten male players in the game will be in Brazil, and this perceived apathy towards Olympic participation has led many to question whether the sport should even be back in the games. Unlike most sports, we have four big events on an annual basis. The Olympics are once every four years. And so it's really hard for a guy that's focused on playing uh, an Open Championship or a PGA Championship or a Masters to all of a sudden get excited about the Olympics when they've never had to get excited about the Olympics. So when players say they're not going, it's to them it's not any different than deciding they're not going to go play at Travelers next week or the deer in two weeks or some other event. They don't see the Olympics as everyone else sees the Olympics. There was a rumour at Troon that for 2020, the IOC were going to say, yes, you can have golf in the Olympics, but women only. That was never confirmed, happily, and I understand that the arrangement is that actually, if you, ha you have to have men and women sports. Uh, so they couldn't do that. But I think it's damaged the chances of getting back in in 2024. The meeting is to be held next year when they decide what the sports are going to be. And I would think that the, the, the sports that haven't got in or didn't get in when they, the current lot were made are going to be jumping up and down saying, look at golf, they let you down. And I'm disappointed that golf has been tainted by this slightly. That's the word I would use, tainted. Someone said something to me that I thought was really important. They said, if it's not the pinnacle of your sport, the sport probably shouldn't be in the Olympics. Now, obviously, in golf's case, it'll never be the pinnacle of the sport. I don't necessarily agree with that 100%. But if you think of it that way, the fact that you got 60 guys, quality guys, going to the event, I think is something the IOC should be happy about and then think about how they can make it work better in the future. Another hot topic in the lead up to the Games has been the creation of a brand new course for the event. Gil Hans was selected as the man to design and oversee the new Olympic layout and despite several delays, he and his team have produced a course that's been well received by both players and officials. We use the natural sand on site, so some of the bunkers have a more orange or red color, some are brown, some are white. It was really what was here and we thought you know, from a sustainability standpoint, instead of trucking sand to the, a sandy site, 
we'd use the native sand and the players are going to treat them like real hazards where they have to really determine okay I'm in the brown sand it's going to play this way I'm in the white sand it's going to play that way and you know we think that's a nice addition to the course. The golf course is beautiful it's a, it's a masterpiece I, I have never seen the lot before it became a golf course but uh, what it looks to me like it's been here forever and I think that's a, a very very nice compliment to an architect that can get a raw piece of land and transform into something beautiful that looks like it's been part of the landscape forever. It's just beautiful. We wanted to build a, a stretch in the middle where we felt like, hey, you know, the players really have to bring their game. And then the finishing stretch is a lot easier holes because we were hoping to see more birdies, more eagles, uh, players making moves at the end. My feelings won't be hurt if they shoot very low scores. And, you know, if it's a difficult test, that's fine too. So, you know, it's, it's just one on the given day, if the wind blows, I think this will be a very difficult golf course. If it's a day like today where it's very light wind, you know, I think that the, the players will play very well on it and, and that's fine. The chance to become part of golf's newest chapter is only a handful of days away now. The men tee it up between the 11th and the 14th of August before the women go for gold from the 17th to the 20th.